Uh, thank you, uh, Mr Chair. Uh, well, when this uh, bill uh, is passed uh, into, uh, it comes into force, I think that's the terminology, and receives the royal assent, New Zealand uh, will lose uh, our public service broadcasting channel. We will be the only country in the Western world, uh, with the exception of Mexico, uh, that does not have a public service uh, television uh, mainstream channel. And, the, and Television New Zealand will exist for the sole purpose of returning a profit and a dividend to the government. And we have to ask, what is the point in a state-owned broadcaster that has no public service functions or responsibilities? What is the point? And we predict that once this bill comes into effect, we will see less and less New Zealand content on television because the TVNZ will exist to chase ratings, to make money, to return a profit. It will be indistinguishable from any other commercial broadcaster. And so it will not be making New Zealand programmes. Why not? Because for the simple reason that it is much cheaper to import foreign programmes. So less and less. In fact, we will probably see so little uh, New Zealand programmes on TVNZ that people will be forced to look to the archives to try to get some New Zealand content. And all of the discussion about the wonderful programmes that were made by TVNZ and that are lodged in the archive in Avalon made me realise that a number of programmes that I made uh, will be uh, what, in the archives in Avalon. Uh, three docu television documentaries that I made, they will be lodged there in the archives. That's fairly interesting, a whole series of that's fairly interesting, a, a programme about quirky events that were happening in New Zealand at the time. These are sort of historical programmes that people would love to see. There is no equivalent to these programmes here uh, in New Zealand uh, being made on TVNZ. So people are going to be very keen uh, to look at these archival New Zealand programmes uh, because uh, we're going to see less and less New Zealand programmes uh, on air. And so the ir irony being that these wonderful archival programmes won't be screened on TVNZ, whatever the Minister says, because the sole mandate of TVNZ is to chase ratings, not to show programmes for the public interest, but only for the commercial uh, interest. They will only be showing programmes that can, that the sales department approves because it will attract advertising and the archival, these wonderful archival uh, material and programmes that we've been talking about tonight, they won't be screened on TVNZ because uh, they won't uh, be, uh, the, the advertising, uh, 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 they will not attract the advertisers and so the sales department won't be interested. So we are going to see, uh, uh, we are going to uh, join the ranks uh, with Mexico, the shameful ranks of having no public service broadcasting. Once this has gone through, the government is now turning its mind to uh, weakening and undermining our other public service broadcaster, Radio New Zealand. The intention of the, intention of the minister is to starve Radio New Zealand of funding, weaken the organisation, put it on the back foot and force it to commercialise. The agenda is absolutely clear and absolutely blatant because this government, this minister, does not understand the importance or value of public service television at Kanta or even of free-to-air television. It only understands commercial television. Uh, it understands making the uh, uh, supporting uh, its friends, its uh, mates in commercial broadcasting uh, and in Sky TV. And so uh, we will now, we will in time, we are, I believe that in time we may very well see in New Zealand uh, only pay television within a short period of time and we may find uh, only one or perhaps two television channels, foreign owned channels, channels owned by people like Rupert Murdoch uh, and uh, we will see no public service broadcasting. And this will have a significant impact on the identity of New Zealand, on who we are, because we will end up watching the equivalent of Fox uh, Fox television, that will be what will be available in, in New Zealand, 
and that will have an impact on our identity as a nation uh, as well as on the quality of our television. Uh, the Hon. Leanne Dalzell. Mr Chairman, I was very interested to hear the comments from the Minister because a number of us actually chipped in to provide us with the answer, and that is, is how many households does he say it does not have access to Sky Television at this stage. And it would be very useful for a further contribution that he would like to make to this debate if he actually provide us with a number. So he, 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 the Minister would like to contribute the number now while I'm speaking. You He'd like to say the... Oh, he thinks that I know the answer that he would give. I know that the answer that my colleague gave. And um, until he actually provides us with an alternative, I don't think we have um, another number on the table. Mr Chairman, I want to refer back to uh, a, a submission that I quoted from in the second reading on this particular bill. And uh, it is the submission that came to us from the, um, uh, from the New Zealand Directors um, and Editors, the Screen Directors Guild of New Zealand. And they made this point. Uh, we are missing out as a nation if the only values we embrace are short-term commercial values. Many of the intangibles that we value and make New Zealand special do not have an immediate short-term benefit, but this does not mean that they are not worthwhile. And I think that those words are definitely the words that we should bear in mind when we're considering the ramifications of this particular piece of legislation. Sorry to interrupt the honourable member. The time has come for me to report progress. The House is resumed. Mr Chairman. Mr Speaker, the Committee on the Television New Zealand Amendment Bill reports progress. Mr Speaker, I move that the report be adopted. The question is that the report be adopted. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. Contrary, no. The ayes have it. This bill is set down for further consideration next sitting day. And the House stands adjourned until 2pm tomorrow.